Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Oh no, Mies are gonna get blasted! Hey, dumbass, don't you have a shield or something? Oh yeah, Misa forgot, sir! <coughs> Hooray, Misa finally won! Don't get cocky, you still suck. Oh. Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review, and today we're taking a look at another Marvel Legends figure from the X-Men line, and it's Havoc. Oh, Havoc. Um, I really was not interested in this figure at all. However, he does have a build-apart for Juggernaut, so I needed to pick him up to complete that set. And I actually got all the other figures in a promo box uh, to build Juggernaut. He was the only one that was not in there, him and uh, Deadpool. Uh, but you don't need Deadpool to build Juggernaut, so I went ahead and bought this guy at a local GameStop. Uh, had to pay $2 more than normal retail, but eh. At least I got the Juggernaut uh, parts to complete for review, which is very, very cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have Havoc in the package, and it's the same box that we have been getting. It's in the yellow uh, for the X-Men, which is very, very cool. There he is in package. Now, he is the modern Havoc outfit, very similar to Cable. Um, when I think Havoc, I think the old school 80s where he's got the white and black outfit with the big crazy weird uh, helmet, which they kind of give an homage to here, which is cool. But uh, to be honest, I just don't care for the character much. Never have. Uh, I will say I am liking the effects that he comes with. I think that's pretty cool. But um, he's got the X logo up there. It says Marvel Legends. It says Havoc. Side of the package has some artwork that actually looks pretty decent. I like that. Um, very, very cool. So just kind of a close up. Marble Legends. There he is. There's his Build-A-Figure part. And then here is the artwork. Looking pretty cool. And if you want to look at the X, I guess. Uh, here is the back of the packaging. And uh, yeah, there he is with his effects. It's got a little write-up. All the other figures you need to build a juggernaut. So just kind of a close-up. There's the artwork. It does look pretty decent there. I will give it that. And then if you want to pause and read that, you are more than welcome to. And again, here are all the other figures that you can build Juggernaut with. The only one I don't have is Deadpool, and I'm afraid I'm going to have to pay scalper prices to get him. Unless somebody out there has one, that'd be cool. Huh? 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 So yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and get Havoc out of box and see what we think. So here we have Havoc out of package, and I have to say, this is my least favorite figure of the entire wave. I just, I don't like Havoc to begin with. I never really have a Cyclops' brother, but I don't know. They just, I've never read a story where I've really got invested in the character. I like the mutant powers. He just, I don't know. I just... I don't like him. I just never have. Um, this is the more modern version of the character. I'm used to the one with the really bright white and black suit with the crazy headgear, which they kind of give an homage to here on this figure. Um, I like the little Havoc logo on his chest, the little energy pulse thing. That looks kind of neat, but it just, I don't know. He's just very, very bland. He's got these... Uh, effects that represent his uh, blasts coming out and they're painted pretty decent um, but they don't look like the energy effects that I'm used to and um, I, I wish they were a little more cone-like. They are a little bit but not enough and they don't sit on the hands very well on my figure so uh, just overall he's a disappointment. But he does come with the one part I needed, and this was the last bit I needed to get the uh, Juggernaut Build-A-Figure. I had to get this guy at a GameStop because I didn't have him uh, with the rest of the figures that I've received, and uh, I paid $22 for this guy just so I could get this leg bit. All right, so enough Havoc bashing here. I mean, the paint on the chest is pretty decent, but he's basically just a black figure with some silver gloves. Got a little silver down there. The head sculpt is very bland. It's just, I don't know. He's just kind of there. But, I mean, it's not the worst of figures. I've seen a lot worse in these lines. For comparison, here we have Havoc next to Wavemates Rogue and Iceman. And these two are way better than this guy. 
Um, Iceman, I'm really, really digging, and I think Rogue is probably one of the best figures in the wave. Uh, so yeah, there he is, next to two better figures. Now, as far as articulation goes, it's really nothing we haven't seen before. I'm going to take his little Havoc Blast bits off here real quick and uh, just kind of look at him uh, real fast so he can turn his head left and right. The plastic on this guy is very hard, stiff plastic, very different from the other figures. Um, I don't know what remold. I'm guessing it's Bucky Cap. I don't know if you know, leave a comment down below. But he looks down that far, he looks that far forward. Um, neck is on a very weird joint. Uh, he's got a twist at the uh, waist. He can look that far down, he can look that far up on his ab crunch. His uh, arms, they go out that far. They twist around, again, very stiff joints. Go in that far, there's a twist at the upper bicep. He has a double jointed elbow like that. Um, his wrists, um, they move that far on the hinge. Interesting um, gloves, by the way, and they do spin, so that's pretty cool. Uh, his legs go up that far. They go that far back. They go out about that far. There is a twist at the top of the leg. He does have a double jointed knee, which is a very, very cool. And then he's got the hinge on the foot. And of course, he's got that crazy ankle rocker pivot that we love! With this being his widest possible stance with both feet still flat on the floor. Pretty good, buddy. So taking a closer look at Havoc himself, again, I'm just not really big on this version of the character or the character in general, really. Uh, it's the modern look. Uh, it does have a nice homage to the old head piece he's got. He's got that little red bit in the middle. The face is sculpted okay. I like the circle design on his chest, though. Everything else, though, is, is really basically all black. Um, and I think that's why this character suffers a little bit. He's just very plain to me. Uh, as far as a Marvel Legends figure goes, um, to be honest, I think the older version probably would have suited him better. Um, but, eh, I guess it is what it is. So taking a look at the midsection of the figure, while I like the idea of the Havoc effects here, um, I like the applications. The translucent blue with the frost looks pretty decent on it. It just, there's something missing about it, and uh, these are kind of hard to get onto his wrists. Mine just don't fit all that well, which is unfortunate. And I wish they had a little bit more cone effect on it. You kind of start to see it go on there a little bit, but it just really doesn't hit it. Uh, the rest of the outfit is very bland. Uh, he's got that silver belt. Everything else is just kind of a glossy spandex black, and he's, well, got the silver metallic painted uh, gloves. So, yeah, I mean, just kind of bland. And finally, taking a look at the legs of the figure. Again, it's just black pants in the boots. Uh, he does have the silver bands at the uh, top and bottom of the boot. That kind of breaks it up a little bit. But, I mean, really, there's not much going on with this guy. So is Havoc a figure that you want your Marvel Legends collection? Well, if you're a diehard X-Men fan, you're going to want to pick this up. I think this is from the Marvel Now version of Marvel Comics. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, if you like the newer stuff, you might like this guy. If you're a Havoc fan, you're going to want to pick him up. Or if you just want all the Summers kids, uh, this might be something to pick up. To be honest, I think it's the weakest of the entire lot uh, for this Build-A-Figure. And the only reason I even picked it up was to get the Build-A-Figure part. So, um, you know, that alone, it's worth the retail just to get the part. So, for better or for worse, there he is. Havoc from the X-Men Marvel Legends. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.